solar energy we know that energy is the ability of an object to do some sort of work energy exists in different forms like kinetic energy and potential energy which we have already discussed in our previous lectures now let me teach you about solar energy as the word solar means the sun and solar energy means the energy of the sun each and every day the earth receives huge amount of energy directly from the sun using special scientific methods we can utilize this solar energy i mean that we can convert solar energy into other useful forms of energy for example we can convert solar energy into electrical energy and then we can convert electrical energy into heat energy kinetic energy potential energy etc and solar energy is the chief source of energy which can be easily converted into other useful forms of energy do you know that how solar energy reaches the earth and how much solar energy reaches the earth as we know that light travels in the form of waves solar energy reaches the earth in the form of sunlight 1 meter square area of the atmosphere receives 1.4 kilowatt energy which is also known as a solar constant it means the solar energy absorption of our atmosphere is 1.4 kilowatt per meter square at outer side now passing through the atmosphere the total solar energy is reduced due to following reason as we know that atmosphere is collection of different gases hence the solar energy is absorbed by the gas particles water vapors dust particles and reflection on a clear day at noon the intensity of solar energy reaching the earth is about 1 kilowatt per meter square hence this energy can be converted or used to heat water or produce electrical energy for example we can convert solar energy into electrical energy through the use of semiconductor devices like silicon and these are called solar cells solar cells are also known as a photovoltaic cells solar cells are made up of silicon electrons in the silicon gain energy from the sunlight to create a voltage a single voltaic or solar cell produces a very small amount of voltage in order to get sufficient high voltage for practical use a large number of such solar cells are connected in series forming a solar panel for cloudy days or nights electric energy can be stored during the sunlight and nickel cadmium batteries by connecting them to solar panels these batteries can then provide power to electrical appliances at night or on cloudy days all the solar cells are expensive but it last for a long time and have low running cost at last let me teach you some applications of solar energy solar cells are used to power satellites having large solar panels which are kept facing the sun solar watches and solar calculators are also in use nowadays solar energy is used in industrial zones for power generations solar energy provides electrical energy to tube wells nowadays different developed countries have introduced cars that are completely running on solar energy remember that solar energy is renewable energy which we can use again and again solar energy is environment friendly source of energy it means solar energy doesn't pollute our environment because it doesn't produce pollutant gas like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide etc to summarize my lecture 
we learn that solar energy is the energy of the sun which we can use in different ways for long period of time without environmental hazards. That is why developed countries like China has invested billion dollars in renewable sources of energy.